Well, I don't believe it. I just practically ran over here as I was just on the scrap coming over here. And I'm, you know, earlier, I thought to myself, it's been like a perfect day for me, right? Filmed a whole bunch of different vehicles responding, hung out with my buddy. We walked up to the top of Mount Royal, came down. And uh, what else? I filmed a, a CP freight with him. And I thought to myself, on a day like today, which is rare, to get everything that I want to film, by timing, by chance, I said, the only thing that was missing is a classic car, an old car. And here's the Corvair that I filmed last fall on a shitty, cloudy, depressing fall day off Jean Talon, and there it is. 1965 to 69, rear engine, air-cooled, GM Classic. Looking badass, I might add, with the old faded black paint and the stock rims there and the this one is for you Ed specifically for you my friend Ed who has a 63 there and uh, I can't believe it this is just amazing timing I mean I was just look I was in Outremont earlier right and I was telling this ascetic Jewish guy is it wrong to say ascetic Jew anyway whatever I was telling him listen I ply the streets looking for all these as I've been doing for over 20 years Right? Because before this, I used to go photographing. I had a camera all the time with me. And there it is. Nice and clean. Fittingly parked on an old school street like mine in Hochelaga. Well, this is like Hochelaga, but it's not Hochelaga. And, uh, yeah. Right on. And yet, it's funny. I pry the streets and at rush hour, there's traffic everywhere. And there's detours and there's construction. And it's like... And the worst part is... The worst part is there's too many people in this city. And, and you got all, everybody wants to drive, so you got all these cars, right? And they're boring. They're boring as hell. And the Corvair here, of course, is not one of, not one of uh, GM's finest vehicles, of course. But it doesn't matter because it was the idea of it. You know how GM took the idea from Volkswagen about a rear air-cooled motor the difference with GM, they did one up better instead of having a four-cylinder as a six-cylinder. And, uh, yeah, just great. Just a little moment with me with this classic here, which is obviously driven and enjoyed. Oh, you know how rare it is for guys like this today? Nobody has the balls anymore to drive an antique car in this city. All the old cars are off-island, you know? Yeah, very, very original as far as I can see. It'd be even more interesting, actually, if this car was originally black. It's possible, but I doubt it. But it's possible. Right on. Very cool. You know, it's funny. It's reminded me of those times I rode in Ed's uh, 63 Corvair. And Ed is tall like me, but he likes little cars, you know. So you don't ride in this for comfort. But it's a GM, so it is actually kind of comfortable. They, they, they have these beautiful dashboards, beautiful lines, you know. I'm betting it's a 65 or 66 because those were the highest production years for for not just GM, but most of the American car companies at that time. As a matter of fact, 65 was a record-breaking year for automobile production. And the, the Mustang is proof of that because in 65 alone, they sold almost 800,000 Mustangs. So you can imagine, this was an economy car, but hey, it had sporty lines, you know what I mean? And you could zip around and... Oh, by the way, one thing I always point out when I see old cars on the street or the show, I don't care about the cigarette packs, whatever. Look, it's got the original wiper blades. Man, you'd be surprised how often they're replaced by rubber and a car's mint condition. It's all original, so. Oh, it's awesome. What a great day. It's been perfect day, and these cars are coming nonstop. What the hell is this? What is this thing? Is that a Ford? Yeah, it's a Forerunner. It's ready for the Amazon. Anyway, well, that's it, guys. I'm slowly making my way home back to Hochelaga. Thanks for watching. I wish uh, there was more oldies to spot in the city. It's more always more fun to see them on the streets than at shows because at shows there's people all over the place and constantly being discombobulated, distracted, and uh, so forth. So thanks for watching. Take care. Oh, and uh, look at that, eh? There's my buddy's shirt there. I got from him, my friend Scott. There's his channel, Cold War Motors. And there's the 60 Plymouth Fury that he completely restored, top to bottom. Adios, amigos. Take care. Sayonara.